Crematorium is above this place. I believe I can get to it through this hatch. Oh, what a mess here. Let's roll.
here's the crematorium. Now I need to find the ashes. Let's get to work. Did you manage to obtain the ashes? Yes, I have it. Now I need the hexagon. What's our next move? We have developed a plan to infiltrate Lord Marin's castle and subsequently steal the hexagon. I suggest walking over to the board with the plan. Marin knows your face. And besides that, there are posters hanging throughout the country. Therefore, first you will wash your face with the Elixir of the Faceless to change your look. According to our plan, the three of you will act as peasant merchants. Peasant clothes can be found in the wardrobe of the warehouse. You will receive the key after completing the first part. At the same warehouse, you may have noticed a hatch in the floor. The food storage is below it. You will need to collect a full box of food and take it with you. Looking ahead, I will say that our goal is not just to steal the hexagon, but also to poison the Lord, if possible. Therefore, you should prepare a poisonous powder using the formula, which can be found in the cabinet in my room. There's an abandoned Undertaker's card by the old crypt, and a buffalo grazing on the passageway. That's how we'll go to the gate of Marengard. We've made a fake pass to let us in. After passing the central square of the castle, we will need to get into the castle's kitchen. Not through the front door, but through an inconspicuous door for servants. We have learned that the Lord expelled his previous cook, and the arrival of the new one is expected today. We intercepted the new cook, and now you will take her place in the kitchen, Susan. Your task will be to find out the menu for tonight and prepare it from the brought products. The poison dish must be served in the throne room. The Lord comes down for a meal every night. That we know for sure. Try not to be seen by him much. And if at this point you are still not exposed, wait for the poison to take effect and grab the bedroom key from the Lord. Most likely, the hexagon is... All this time, the boys will be waiting for you in the carriage at the castle square. Once you find the hexagon, you must return to the square without arousing suspicion. Then, you will simply leave the town. Of course, 
This is a rough plan. We can't guarantee anything. Most likely, you will have to proceed according to circumstances. Well, this won't be the first time. Unbelievable! My face has changed. Remember that the effect is temporary. Now, go and change your clothes. Here is the key to the cabinet. Hopefully, I won't be so easy to recognize now.
Halt! What are you carrying? Products for the royal household. A pass is required. Everything is fine. Let them in! Susan, we will wait for you in the carriage. Your way lays through the right gate. Cook, go through the side door. Here's the kitchen. Now I need to find out what's on tonight's menu for Marin. Now I look like a cook. Ah, you're the new cook. You will obey me. I am the counselor to the royal household. None of the servants can speak directly to the Lord. That's what I am here for. Soon Lord Meran will wish to feast, so you have to prepare everything to the highest standard. That's the only way I work, my lord. Silence! You will only speak when I ask you a question. Understood? Yes, my lord. So... In the castle's hall, in case you haven't noticed, there is an orders table. There you will find the menu for tonight. After you prepare the right meal, it must be served on a special trolley. You will find it in the kitchen. It should have everything that's necessary to lay the table. A tablecloth, cutlery, utensils, napkins, and wine. Any questions? What do I do after I prepare the food? You bring it on the trolley here and lay the table. Then you have to attach a meal invitation notice to the rope and send it up. It will get into the Lord's chamber and inform him that it's meal time. Understood? Yes, Counselor. Now get busy! Cook! I have to go out on an errand. Make sure not to poison our Lord. <laughs> <laughs> 